what I know about service advisors because I am a customer. <clears throat> Look, I'm a car salesman and I know what people think of me. All right, I know that I've got no credibility. Um, I know that people are suspicious of me. I know that until I can build some sort of relationship, um, no one is going to trust me because it says car salesman on my card. However, a service consultant or service advisor is, a, is completely different. True or false, customers would have a much more trusting opinion of you or you than they would any of the fellows or ladies out front. I would like to think so, yes. I absolutely believe it. Because they're we're the ones keeping up on the vehicle they drive day to day. Right. Plus, <clears throat> plus, service advisors don't have a bad reputation nationwide, okay? I was only going to do it for six weeks. That was 44 years ago. Um, but it turns out that car selling was a terrific, uh, not just a way to make a living, but a great way to create a life. Both my brothers got into it. My father declared before he died, um, the auto retail automobile business, the best kept secret in this country. But what I have known from the beginning was service advisors always had a better, repu way better, re in fact, they had no bad reputation at all, okay? People would go into the service department and the service people would say, this is what you need to do. Um, and people would listen because there was more of a trust in you or you than there would be with me. You also have way more selling opportunities than the salespeople do. You know, Chad walked me through the number of ROs, especially the number of ROs you do. Um, but all of you do a ton of ROs, and uh, you do way more ROs than because uh, uh, I worked with their service advisors a couple months ago, which is why Mr. Stearns is having me do this today. So, tremendous opportunity. And Shannon, you get paid on commission, correct? We all do. We all do. Mm -hmm. So the more we sell, mm -hmm. the better we do. But Sam brought up a great point. Sam goes, well, Steve, it's not like out there where they're going to hammer them closed because if they leave, we know they're never going to see them again. Yeah. Because here, you know, we've got to build a relationship with the customer. And I certainly understand that. Um, my expertise is closing, but I'm not one that believes in pressuring a customer yeah. to do anything. I am a believer in persistence if it's the right thing mm -hmm. to do. Now, I said I was a customer. Uh, I am a service customer. I don't work on my own vehicles. I've got service advisors that I've known for years. Um, I have relationships with several of them. My brother runs a Honda store in Atlanta, and I drive Hondas, so that's where I go. Um, I don't go to Jiffy Lube. I go to the dealer to have all the services done on my cars. Why? Because I trust the service advisors at that store. When they tell me something, I mean, I'm, I'm going to question it. If, if I go in for an 80, to, in fact, I'll give you an example. I took my wife's car in a, about a month and a half ago. She's got 16,000 miles on a 2019 Honda Accord. I wanted an oil change and a tire rotation. Well, when they went through the services that were due, even though it only had 16,000 miles, but it was four years old, I mean, it was well over, almost close to $700. And, and I questioned them on it. I said, wait a minute, it's only got 16,000 miles. But they said, look, this is why, this is why, this is what it'll do for you. They gave me good reasons to not spend the money. Value. Invest the money. Because if I mean, I mean, basically, when someone has their vehicle serviced, aren't they investing in their vehicle? What, what would people be more likely to do, spend or invest? Invest. Invest. You know, it's one of the things that I suggested to Sam and Alex, that you, you change the word to invest. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's, it's because invest denotes a possibility of a return yeah. on the investment. And there's a number of returns. First of all, my car is less likely to break down and leave me stranded on the side of the road, right? Um, secondly, my vehicle's much less likely to have a major mechanical failure, which can get extremely expensive. Thirdly, it could also increase the resale value of my vehicle. 
So those are three very important potential returns. So I said, you know, spe speak in those terms to the customer. So 